Has everybody got the blood flow pumping over from that light? Yeah, well, you know, we were fortunate today in that we got a gorgeous view when we got to the top of the rock, and I think it was just awe-inspiring. It kind of sets the stage for what we're talking about today, which is lifestyle entrepreneurship, doing what you love to do, doing it where you want to do it. So when we were trying to think of who are people that are living the dream, as we like to say, and we say that with a little bit of a smirk, because you'll hear the good and bad of it all, um, and the next person we're going to introduce is, is an example of that going through both the peaks and the valleys, very analogous to our area, the beautiful mountains and, and the valleys. And uh, John Felty is somebody that represents that. He's the living embodiment of the entrepreneur. Um, and he has, from the very beginning, um, kind of forged his own path and not followed kind of the road things that the industry kind of tried to lay out for him. And maybe you'll share a little bit about your story too about the point in cowboy boots. And how they wanted to dial you up. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Uh, so John has been with Jupiter Coyote, I believe, for 20, almost 25 years. Um, Well-known band has traveled all throughout the east and the uh, southeast and down into the west and ran the musical circuits and learned to a way to make a living doing what he wants to do but not following a traditional path. And in that, he's had to be very resourceful. Um, and in that he's adapted a lot of skill sets that as entrepreneurs we could all benefit from. And that's the ability to kind of work in real time, identify opportunities, do an assessment, move forward, sometimes uh, hit a resounding success and sometimes stumble and retreat. So John, is, I'll let him explain some of the things he's done, but he's also a co-owner of the White Squirrel WSQL radio station. <laughs> uh, multifaceted, he also does Mountain Song Festival, He's filled cruise ships with all kinds of groups and taken them out and done all kinds of interesting things in a, in a musical setting. So without further ado, John Felty. Count support. Thank you. All right, well, um, I don't want to tell left me anything to say. <laughs> uh, I know some of you, I've uh, seen you around the bar and worked with some of you before in other uh, other circles, other projects, things like that. But yeah, uh, I guess you know, where I am now, uh, I have uh, Mountain Song Productions, uh, which is the production entity for what I do, producing live uh, festival and concert events primarily. Um, I do get the call to do some contract work from time to time, um, assisting other municipalities, other promoters in either some aspect of their event, either uh, coordinating staff, event event design, talent buying. When I say talent buying, that means uh, I'm actively procuring artists that they want to present at any given event, concert, or festival. Um, uh, so I can do, you know, uh, a, lot, a lot of those things for other folks. I prefer not to. Um, there's a lot of... Uh, challenges in working with a partner, which I think is speaks back to the nature of an entrepreneur and doing things the way that you want to do them without necessarily following a roadmap or anyone else's sort of ideas of what it's going to be. So that, you know, I do have the ability to work with other people, like I said, and I do, and that, that's certainly a skill set you need to have. But um, uh, And then I also have a, a company called Looking Glass Entertainment, which sort of uh, mirrors what Mount Song Productions does, but that's more, uh, as I was describing just now, more of when I'm doing stuff for other folks. Mount Song Productions is uh, the events that I produce and promote uh, for myself. Um, and, you know, here in this community, for example, White Squirrel Festival, if any of you were around for that, uh, Phil and I, I guess, we started that event 13 years ago, 14 years ago, something like that. Um, um, and then Mountain Song Festival, which is now its 10th, 10th year, uh, we produce at the Lord Music Center in September. Um, and we've also taken on a philanthropic partner in the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, it's their single uh, largest fundraising event every year. Um, I think if the numbers serve me, we're probably going to top the half million dollar mark this year in contributions to the Boys and Girls Club. So, um, 